Hustle and bustle. Welcome to Makati. Now this is old Makati. Okay, I'm at Makati Cinema Square, or formerly known as, it's now just called Makati Square. Even my driver was cool, I got a taxi. Uh, it was 100 pesos from um, the main uh, Makati Manila where I was, um, near the Clipper Hotel. So a lot of uh, cheap shopping and market stores here, even though it's a mall, and uh, cheaper food. And of course, arm score shooting range and gun club in the basement level. Okay, so I'm at the basement level of Cinema Square. Trust Trade is the name of the business. They were really nice with me. So they said I could make a quick video, but I have to avoid the staff. I don't want to put them on camera. This is a Norinco. This is a Chinese manufacturer. Norinco is a Chinese company. But this is a 40 caliber NP58. 40 caliber Smith & Wesson. They shoot hot, meaning it's a high pressure caliber. I don't like it. I prefer 9mm. But I, to each his own, and uh, they do work well. Just to give you an idea, they also stock Magtech ammunition. Okay. Magtech has a very good brand, uh, meaning they're known for being very reliable. They have good quality assurance. This is the full metal jacket. They are selling them 21 pesos each. They also have hollow points for how much? 40... 47. 47 uh, pesos each for hollow points. Okay, these are 124 grain, as you can see. Full metal jacket, very nice. Very nice ammo. It's just interesting, they, they've gone with a good brand, that's all they stock. As you can see, they have multiple calibers. Forgive me, let the camera adjust. They have multiple calibers and 45 is 31 pesos each for full metal jacket. Do you know how many grains? Probably 220 or 200 grain bullets. 230. 230, okay. 230, excellent. This is a Glock 21. I was very interested, is a Gen 4? Because this is a 45 caliber. Filipinos, Pinoy, they love the bomba. They love the big boom, but uh, and this oh sorry the pricing this is uh, forty five thousand nine hundred and forty so forty six thousand pesos and then you have to pay licensing separately only a Filipino citizen only a Filipino citizen can own it and um, how much is the Norinco this is about nineteen seven so about twenty thousand pesos almost just about that just to give you guys an idea and uh, this is how much capacity 12, 10 rounds eleven eleven round capacity. And this one is 13 plus one, 13 round capacity. I was just interested to see that. I'm gonna just show you guys. I gotta, I'm not gonna point this at anyone. That's why I'm pointing it at the ground. But yeah. Okay, guys, it's clearly empty, but um, yeah. It's also, it's also locked. Clearly, it's locked. But they're just, they're just being nice, letting me take a look at it. I'm gonna put that down now. I might hand that back. I hand that back to you. Yeah, thank you. And um, yeah, very nice. This is interesting. Norinco have really made a comeback. They used to make poor quality goods, but now it depends on what year, what time period. They'll, you know, they're, they're like a joint manufacturer, meaning just because it says Norinco doesn't mean it came from the same factory. But uh, it's basically a copy of the SIG, um, I believe it's a SIG P226, but it's a 40 caliber, so it might be a 229. Forgive me, forgive me if I got it wrong, but it's a pretty much exact copy of the 6R200 series. See, I've cocked it. This is the decocker, okay? Not the trigger, the decocker up here. Sorry, what have I done? See, and it decocks it. It's because it's got the trigger lock on there. But um, see what I mean? So it just has the features, that's all I'm trying to say. Press that to lower the hammer safely and that actually puts a, a firing pin block. It blocks the firing pin to make it safer as well. If you use the, the appropriate um, decocker. Anyway, just interesting. And I'm gonna mosey on around. You don't want to be on camera. So, as you can see, this is just a small branch in Robinson's Galeria. Robinson's Galeria is your main branch. So they also have, um, yeah, more, a larger branch and more. You know, just just to let you guys know. And they obviously have more samples to show people. Okay, trust train. They've also got Taurus on display here. These are all Taurus pistols, but we're not too worried about that. But it's just interesting. They got the good stuff. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, still on basement level. This is where all the gun stores are. Like, they're all literally... I've got to be careful. Some don't want to be filmed. You know, they're all just light, laid out like market stores. This is Twin Pines uh, Corporation, as you can see. They have multiple stores around Philippines. Um, a bunch of them had problems just because of previous administrations making it so strict. So, they had to close some of the satellite stores in the provinces. But they still have them in the major cities. It's just to do with the gun laws because of changes to the gun laws. As you can see, cleaning products, all brand names. 
and accessories. What got my interest were these magazines. These are Lancers. Very high quality. They're a Magpul, known for being reliable. I'll go show you inside. And other accessories in other magazines. I just had a chat to the owner. He doesn't want to be on camera, which is why I have the store to myself. The stuff are right behind me, alright? So it's not like I'm running around crazy. But as you can see, all the accessories. This is a smaller satellite store in Makati Cinema Square. Oh, sorry, Makati Square. Oh, they put away the magazines. I had a bunch of magazines laid out to show you guys, but you get the idea. Ammunition for sale too. Okay. So obviously you could come down here and look for yourself. Just want to show the guys uh, who may not have seen it before or maybe a bit uh, gun shy. Now they were saying that's interesting. They, they uh, specialize in civilian sales, but they've sold a lot of everything. Pistol, rifle and shotgun. But they said rifle is most popular. One of their best sellers is the M&P uh, 15. It's a type of uh, AR-15 or M4 style rifle. Okay. I don't want to get too technical, but you guys know what I mean. It's a, just another type of AR-15 style rifle. But yeah, they said three gun. Three gun competition shooters tend to buy the M&P 15 and it's one of their best sellers. So there's not much more to show you guys. Um, the guns are typically locked up. This is very common in Philippines. They show pictures and whatever. And then, and then you can look at a catalog and then if you're a serious customer, then you buy it. But uh, yeah, just wanted to showcase another store. But I, I've even been to their Dumaguete store before it closed down. But I didn't catch that on camera. And then see Smith & Wesson. So yeah, um, they get all the brand names. Six Hour, Glock as well. Uh, what else? Yeah, they've got all the, the brand names. Basically, you know, you put in an order and you, and you bring it in. They import it. I just let you guys know. The Lancer magazines are average 2,000 pesos, which is about $40 US. And the Magpul magazines are 4,000 pesos on average, which is about um, $80 US. Now, that's just ridiculous. But uh, the reason why they're imported goods, and because of the brand name, Magpul have such a good brand name now, uh, that tends to be a very good seller. But as we all know, Lancers have reinforced steel uh, feed lips. These are very nice magazines too, don't get me wrong. I'd rather buy a Lancer. But anyway, is this good? Is this good to see the brand names? Okay, we're in Arms Core, Makati Square Mall, in the basement level, at the very bottom. Basement level. They've got some um, basic sporting rifles. Check it out. They've been expanding. They've been expanding. This wasn't here last time. Tax series. I want one of these. I want one of these. Tax series. In pesos, okay? These are in pesos. It doesn't usually include the licensing fees, from what I understand. Check out the store. See, they push it out, they expand it, they got all the accessory count on there. This wasn't here before, so they've, they've opened it up. Ammunition, obviously, as well. All the accessories. Yeah, they've really expanded. Rightly so, I mean, it's a, it's a gun club and retail store and a shooting range, so all three, why not? They're selling their product. And of course, they are a manufacturer of ammunition as well, also known as Rock Island Armory, but they export all around the world. Very popular in USA. Wow, they got 30 caliber carbine. For 26 pesos each, that's actually um, hard to find sometimes, okay. The 38 special for 23 pesos each. Uh, 9mm, full metal jacket, 22 pesos each. And 45 caliber, 25 pesos. Each. That's an excellent price. That is an excellent price, full metal jacket. Usually 45 is around 30 pesos, uh, 35 pesos. Yeah, buckshot. What have we got? Uh, I think that's uh, number seven, yeah, number four. I'm looking for the heavier stuff. Where is it? Anyway, 25 pesos. Per shotgun shell. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, 22. Okay, cool. Okay, and all the accessories, uh, hearing protection, all the other stuff. Cleaning products, excellent, good to see. Good to see. Okay. That's the professional office. They moved. They used to be hidden, now they've opened it up, it's cool. It's cool. Well, it is a professional facility, that's why I recommend it. I'm not joking around, guys. Be very careful of those dodgy 
ranges because um, you can get hurt. You can get seriously hurt. Okay, all their trophies. They've got sports teams, they've got competition teams, all that. Here's the range. Let's take a look. Let's go around. I better go grab a pistol myself. I've covered it many times, guys. I've been here so many times. I might as well become a member. <laughs> this is awesome. I met uh, this gentleman, Randy. He actually said hello and he said, What season are you filming? <laughs> I was like, what? You watch my videos? So, uh, go ahead and introduce yourself, man. Hi, Brandon. My name is Randy Bobona. I'm an IT consultant. And I'm here. I'm, I'm score. Of, uh, I usually, uh, you know, uh, watch your YouTube blog. And I saw you are in the AM score every year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and uh, thank you for visiting Philippines. And, uh, awesome. And our, our uh, you know, our... Uh, also, by the way, do you have a favorite video? A any particular video that you might have liked? Well, not on the moment. No, oh, <laughs> but well, BB, BB, BB uh, Adventures by Brandon is. Uh, okay, thank you. No, thank you. I appreciate it because we we're joking. He's seen all my shooting videos, and now he's yeah, yeah, yeah. he's done an arm score. And you were maybe um, looking at this one. Yeah, but see, I'm serious. I'm looking at it. I've heard, yeah, it's been very popular in USA, where you can swap the barrel from 22 TCM to 9 millimeter, so you have two calibers. It's a package, yeah. Are you gonna maybe try it today? Uh, not at the moment. I'm, not, okay. I'm, I'm just dropped over from work. Well, you know, maybe they have a sample you can look at. Yeah. Maybe there's a sample we can look at, but um, yeah. Oh, no, no. We're just looking at his brother. He doesn't want to be on camera, but um, awesome. Impromptu. We didn't set this up. Met an awesome subscriber. So thank you, Randy. Anything you want to say to your friends or family, maybe? I don't just say hi. <laughs> just say hi. Okay, cool. Okay. Well, it was awesome meeting. We'll, we'll chat some more. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thanks, man. Uh, All right. Thanks. Good shooting. I've already been to this range many times before and covered a lot of things, so I chose the map one. Just goes empty, okay? Dry part. Map one, nine millimeter, polymer frame. It's a copy of the CZ75. Uh, we're shooting lead reloads with a uh, Teflon coating, okay? Just blinking, training ammunition. All right, enough gabbing, let's get shooting. Five meters, by the way, guys.
more than I was aiming for the shoulder just for some fun. Well, that was my warm-up. I did some dry fire practice, but uh, these were two separate groups. Uh, I was just change, checking my hold lever, meaning where I was holding my sights, but yeah, got them pretty tight, touching each other. I was actually holding up here. It was weird, I was holding up here, and then they were dropping here. And I was holding on the center, and they were dropping down here. So that's me, that's all me, meaning I'm inconsistent. But see, these are actually two bullets touching. Okay, so as you can see, I lost it. I pulled one, I pushed too far to the left. But uh, yeah, and I dropped one here. Meaning I was aiming here and I dropped it really low. I, I, I jerked, jerked the pistol down. And uh, same thing here, I was actually aiming high. I was aiming high and dropping it low. And of course I was aiming here and dropping it to the right for some reason. Maybe I was pushing too hard for some reason. But yeah, not too bad. I'm just using up my last mag. I'm just gonna have some fun, guys. Rapid fire. Empty. Empty. Okay, here we go. Obviously, still learning, still practicing. What I found was I'm not making excuses. I'm right handed, and usually, right handed people will push to the left. This gun was shooting to the right, so I actually think the sights were off. So I was typically aiming here or here, meaning my point of aim was here, but my point of impact is here to the right, which is unusual, okay? The same with the headshots. The way I achieved that, I went really slow aiming up here, and I dropped it low right for some reason. So when I was aiming center, I was dropping low right again. So it was consistent, that's just why I'm covering it. But again, that's the whole idea. Um, the, the idea is to try and learn, try and understand why you're shooting this way. 
Okay. And then I just wasted some bullets on the left side, just rapid fire, and they just sprayed everywhere. But yeah, not too bad. I mean, see, some of these are bullet on bullet touching. So the gun itself is consistent, you know, but maybe I am not as the shooter. <laughs> and I think the sights need adjusting. But anyway, some good fun at the range. Professional range. Thank you, Kuya. Awesome Hi. stuff. <laughs> and some other shooters. Thanks for watching. You gotta do the line. Thank you, sir, for watching. Thank you, sir. Thank you for watching, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching the adventures. Okay. Come on, we're, we're rolling. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, wait for a while. Thank you for watching the adventures. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> you got it. Thank you, miss. Thank you.